Hi everyone. So in the first part I showed you how to set up Elastic Email in a simple way with the Dalo. So in this second part I'm just going to show you how to actually use dynamic data and sending the emails via two ways. Or using a button with input fields or select fields or actually use a form when you submit a record into the collection and then you want to add an action to send an email to in form of the, the data in that contact form. So the first way to do it is, if you remember, we set up the button and elastic email. So this action is created for everything, not just for this button. I just use it as the example. But so in this case, then we're going to start by uh, using an input field and a select field. The input field is just a way of putting text, but in the select field, you do actually need to have a collection behind in order to, to do a selection. So in this case, I just went ahead and used the standard one in a dollar, which is users. So starting with the button, we go back here into the custom action. You go here. And if you remember, we had set the parameters here, but we had static data. So now the way to pass then the information into the parameters is first we need to create the inputs. So in this case we need four subject from to and body text. So just gonna go right ahead and create. Um, so I'm just choosing everything as text uh, because it's what it makes sense now but Usually you can then use numbers if you want to send data like an order total or something else related to that. So, so I'm going to add here it to our usual suspect John Doe. And finally I'm going to add the body text of the email. This is a message. Okay, right, so now we created the input variables and now we're going to add them here. So in order to do that, we're going to use the magic text and I'm going to say subject the from the to and the body text. So here we go. Now we prepared an elastic email in the API to receive the dynamic data. But we still, I'm just going to do a run test, but we still need to add it on the front end. So test successful again. I'm going to save the action. So in this part, to, war, to add then the information, when we click here and now we see the custom action, we can see that the four fields appear here. So this is now when we're going to say we have the input and here we have select. So we go here and we say, for example, the input can be the subject, we go to form inputs and select input. The from could be the logged in user, for example. And the two could be then uh, another input, in, input field that we would uh, want to use. So in this case, I'm just going to put input. And then the body text could be, for example, a select field. So I'm going to go here, select, and then I can choose which ones I want actually to pass into there. So in this case, for example, I just wanted the full name. So so this is how you do it with the button and the input uh, fields or select fields. So in order to use with the form, it's just slightly different because we need to add the form into a data collection. So in this case, I use the simple one called contact support and with the four uh, fields. So in this case, uh, we're going to use it in the submit button. So the submit button by default does a create contact support. And then we're going to add another action. We're going to add the same custom action because we just want to use the same variable fields we have. So I'm going to do here an uh, elastic email. So again, we have here the four fields. And in this case, I'm just going to go here to the magic text and I'm going to go here when a new contact support is created. Then, for example, I want to add the subject the from then the logged in email, for example, of the user. The two can be the, this email just for the purpose of the exercise. So again, I would go here and the body text would be in this case, then the message. And there you go. So we're going to do done. So now when we would run the form or these fields, so we're just, we can just do something random here and select here. And then when you're going to add the button, 
you're just going to send the email. And the same happens to the form. So once you're going to fill in all the data and create uh, create support, you're also going to receive that email with that new user select uh, created. So yeah, so that's it. This is how you can use uh, Elastic Email with the Dalo in a simple way with uh, dynamic data. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching.